this your home here, I assume? Um, right? No, I actually I own the property management company that manages this property. Um, the owner, one of our owners, lives next door, and then we manage the property on the other side as well, which is also completely compromised. What's this like? Um, when I opened the door next door, because I checked that one first because it was in the most danger, I felt the suction of the wind, and I I started crying before the door opened because it's that's his primary, that's where he lives, and he's a really nice guy. He works really hard in the community. He's worked really hard for the things he has, and it's just it's really devastating. And I know he's not he's one of many that are waking up this morning to that kind of news, and so it's you know just very sad to hear. And we're worried about the condos. We're worried about rehoming people that are displaced. And this is not going to be a very short recovery. We're going to this is going to change the landscape of our community. These homes have been here for a long time, right? Yeah, some of these homes, um, 1963, I think, is the house next door, and on the other side, probably even longer. Um, for residents that have lived here their whole life, I'm from Florida, but I have not lived here my whole life, um, no, no one's ever seen anything like this. And the, all the, I'm a realtor as well, and all the real estate agents were just, you know, they're worried about everyone because we've, we're friends with everyone in this community. We, we know all the business owners, and this is, you know, we just, Daytona has been doing a really good job of making a comeback as an awesome town, and this is just going to be a, a hit, big hit for us. It's just been hard to believe, I guess, that these homes have been here for so long, and now this is the threat they face. What's changed? Um, the Ian is what changed it. It, it wasn't, so this is obviously a, a very um, aggressive water right now. You can see that coming in. But there were seawalls. This backyard went out way far. That backyard went all the way out here. So we lost 30 feet during Ian, and all the seawalls and dunes were compromised. So even ones we didn't lose were already loose and they hadn't had time to fix them or bring in more sand or anything. And so by that already be gone, being gone, everything now is just like they're evacuating us from this area. We're not gonna be out here after this interview because this whole area is unsafe as well. It's just compromised everything and it's creating basically almost like sinkholes underneath these houses. Well, after the coal leaves, what do you anticipate being left here? A lot of work, a lot of work, um, a lot of, a lot of fears and um, a lot of community working together to rebuild. Yeah. Now, are these owned by the same person or individual homeowners? Who are um, this is, yeah, no, that's okay. This is an individual homeowner that owns this one and the one on the other side, and him and his business partner, um, his, his best friend, own this house together. This is her, her home away from home. And are these insurable at this point? Um, so the, I believe the houses are insured. The, um, I don't know that the seawalls or sand dunes can be insured. I'm not really sure of that answer, but I, my understanding is that they cannot be. And let me get your name real fast. It's Krista Goodrich, K-R-I-S-T-A-G-O-O-D-R-I-C-H. Krista, thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank nice you. To meet Stay you. safe today. You too. Yeah.